Hi, thank you for joining me. I'm going to go over some of the important information that clients uh, tend to need uh, as they go into the pu publishing, the uh, production, the support side of having a website. Uh, we don't like taking for granted that everyone knows the lingo, so uh, let's take a few moments to get familiar with the parts of a website, okay? Uh, the first part of a website is the home page. Now the home page is kind of like uh, the cover of a magazine, if you will. Uh, we're all familiar with how magazines are formatted. You know, you might have the magazine itself, and then inside of there, you might have pages. When you open up the magazine, you're able to read the pages, the articles, see all the pictures inside. Well, the website's structured a bit the same. There is a home page, and then underneath the home page, there are subsets of website of web pages, which are the equivalent of like the pages in a magazine. Once you click on something on the home page, it takes you over to one of these pages. The art of designing the home page is designing what type of information or what type of uh, links you're going to have on the home page that entice people to click on and access the pages underneath. Now the way that we typically design a website, the way that I usually recommend, is to design your internal pages first. It's again, much like designing a magazine where you really don't decide on the cover until you know what stories are going to be inside. So for example, we could structure our website so we have an About Us page. And maybe we'll have a Services page. Let's do a Contact page as well. And let's have an online store. And for today's tutorial here, we'll just call them what, we're, what, we're, uh, what they are. Uh, these are our internal pages. And so each of them will have content of their own. Now, what is content? Content is a combination of pictures and words that help to fill out that page Again, much like a magazine does, where we're filling in the pages of the magazine with information that the readers are going to be interested in. Now, once we know what our internal pages are going to be, we can create our home page. On our home page, we'll have links to these pages. Typically, a website is structured with the logo of your organization, maybe the name of your organization and maybe some links across the top. So we'll call the links Home, About Us, Services, Contact, and Online Store. Then on the page itself, what we'll typically want to have is some type of a large image that really demonstrates what the website is about. It tells us why the visitor should really care about being on the website and what it is that we're really trying to communicate. We call that an impact statement. A combination of words and images that in three to six seconds states what you're doing and why people should care. If you do that right, what people will look for is directions. They'll, they know, they can see that you have a menu at the top, but they typically are looking for visual cues as to where you want them to go next. They can always play with your menu that can have a billion different things on it, but ultimately they're looking for where you want them to go. And maybe the most important parts for you are your services that you offer and your online store, maybe some of your products. And they can click around for the About Us and ways to contact you. A lot of times what you want to do is you want to make sure that you understand what your goals are uh, in terms of uh, uh, response from people going to your website. Would you like them to fill out a form? Would you like them to call you? Uh, would you like them to click on a link and, and, uh, and visit your online store? You want to define those things ahead of time. And let's say in this case you have your services, you have your online store, but you love for people to give you a call to your 888 number. You can always put that nice and big at the bottom. And this would be a home page. Again, very much like a magazine where we immediately see what it is that we're offering. We see who it is that's offering it and we know immediately what the points of, of emphasis and uh, the points of interaction are. Now each, the home page is a page in of itself, but each of these pages, again, have their own set of content. For the About Us page, we might determine that 
we're going to put a bio of the organization with a picture of your building. For the services page, we may simply outline all the services with a brief description. For the contact us page, we may have a picture of our main representative, our address, our phone number, our email address. And for the online store, we may have our products listed with a link to check out. This is how you plan a website. And throughout our process, what we'll be doing is we'll be referring to different pieces like, or different terminology like content, images, those are pictures. We may be referring to the home page as opposed to the secondary pages, which are the pages behind. One more little piece that I'd like to address with you is the design of your site, which is typically referred to as a website template or a theme. A typical design will be a template file, which is simply a graphical representation of what it is that we're going to publish for you. Typically, a website has a header, has a footer, and has a content area. This content can be words, images, any combination of, of, of such. Above in the header area, you may have a logo, you may have a slogan, or you may have just the name of your organization. Whenever you have links to other pages, it's typically referred to as a menu. So if we have a menu in the upper section here, we would call this a header menu versus our, vert, our, our horizontal menu that's across the top. You may also have items in the bottom, and those would be known as a footer menu. There's also the possibility that you might have a website designed with a side menu as well. You can choose the different types of menus here. So now that you know the terminology, now that you know the general organization of a website, you can communicate with our production staff using those terms, using that knowledge. Thank you so much for watching.